Hey everybody, welcome back to Fiasco Factory and Fortress Craft Evolved. I am continuing to grind. I've done a little bit of rearranging of things. Probably going to move this eventually, but uh, let's take a look at uh, what's going on. So, I finally got lithium coming up, and it's coming up right over here. So we've got full smelting. We're using these crummy ore smelters, but that's no big deal for right now. We've got a lot of all this stuff. Iron ran out, so I had to find some more. I think I found one with like 7 million in it. Lithium has got a similar amount. And there's another 3 million sitting right there near it. So I think we're good on lithium for now. I suspect copper is going to run out any time. But I've got a fair bit of ore stocked up. A uh, little bit of nickel, titanium, and gold. I've been working on getting power downstairs. And I've gotten it down to the... Uh, to the appropriate level yet, but just as I did it, titanium of course ran out. So got to go find some more titanium eventually. We're not going to do that right now though. Uh, let's look in the recipes. Oh, actually, let's look in projects. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, we've got quite a few potential projects. If we click on this, yeah, we can't really see the details. Let's look in here. So one of the new research projects that has appeared, and I'm not exactly sure how it came to be, um, maybe going down far enough to get to the toxic caverns, because it's a metal alloy project here. 25 of the nickel-based pods, and then just some copper and iron ones. And we get a whole bunch of stuff. So we get a better laser energy transmitter. We had a couple more machines, crafting gold foil and titanium housing and secondary upgrade modules. So those are new. Plus some alloyed block things. We get a new suit headlight, which actually I think is kind of low power enough usage that we can do it. A V2 build gun, which will allow us to move those smelters and do some other things. And a toxic particle filter. Um, there is a level down below, I'm guessing it's around 512, where you hit some stuff that uh, that will kick your butt. And uh, it seems like it's worse than it used to be. So we're going to switch the mode over here, and let's go ahead and go to Metal Alloys and Experiment. So we'll start the project on that. I just gathered up a few of these pods here of different kinds, just so that we would have them on hand when it came time to research something. And I think that's the one to research. Now, the other thing we need to do, so what I want to do is I want to get these better ore smelters, which we can already build, but we need gold foil and some other stuff. Poor spider bot stuck over here. i got to get some ground under here. This is one layer thick. Anyway, uh, I took down this mountain. We're going to do real smelting here. We'll bring up ores from below, and we'll gather what we get out of this thing here, whatever we have on us, and it'll get piped in. And then we need to put it into a storage. So we want to build a mass storage solution. And that requires a whole bunch of materials, including like a million tin plates, which I've been gathering up. Let's see, do we have this in here? Uh, we do. Mass storage block takes, okay, lightweight machine housing. It's not tin plates, but that's fine. Been gathering some of those too, although it looks like I need to make a whole bunch more. And then uh, stocking port and output ports. So, oh, these are buildable. I thought, why did I think we needed liquid resin for that? Let me, uh, let's look in the research guide here. Advanced storage. Uh, it takes refined liquid resin to research it and allows us to do, okay, an alloy upgrade module, which we'll need. And a, um, bunch of these mass storage input ports, which are going to give us a lot more a lot more ability to store and retrieve things. Um, so anyway, storage over there and then pull it out and work on it and build whatever we need over here. I'll probably move this spider bot base thing over here, maybe. We'll, we'll see about that later. But let's see, if we wanted to get some refined liquid resin, we need to melt down the bug shell on our hive mind fellow over there. And where would we find that? Uh, let me just dig through here a little bit because I'm not entirely sure where that stuff's going to be. Right here, a laser resin ablator, a laser li resin liquefier, and a liquid resin refiner. So we need crude organic lenses for that. And do we know how to make crude organic lenses? 
I guess we don't. We should have the recipe here, though. Let's get to it. Crude organic lens, five, okay. Do that. And we need pristine faceted eyes, which I happen to have a stack of on me, thanks to the bug attacks. Um, these... <laughs> These bugs, man, they're, they're just nuts. Uh, but let me complain here briefly about these crates. What in the deuce, right? You have to roll over them to see how many are in a stack, right? And if you drag onto a stack that is full, it'll just leave it in your inventory. So it's just quite a pain. I've just been dragging them over here and then trying them on different stacks. It's kind of annoying, though. And for some reason, it resorts itself every time. Well, this one does. The other one doesn't. I don't know. I can't. I can't handle the the illogicness. I can't can't figure it out. Okay, we'll leave that there. I guess it's got its own. I'm just gonna get this crap out of my inventory. Although there will be another bug attack in like two minutes here. These bugs are just going bonkers. Uh, they are very unhappy with our presence on the planet. Don't I have any broken stingers? No, I guess not. Okay. So we've got our lenses, and we should now be able to make that. Where the heck was it? Was it under defense? It was not. <laughs> it was not. It was not there. Um, where was it? I would have sworn that I saw it right there. It was under these, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. So a laser resin ablator, a laser resin liquefier, and a liquid resin refiner. We need another ore extractor. Okay, I guess I get that in here too, don't I? Crafting. Let's make a few of those. And now I've forgotten where it is again. It's under machines. And uh, we want a liquid resin refiner. These all have the same recipe for some reason. Okay, we've got them. Now, we're going to need some next level juice to power these things up. So, what have I got? I've got regular old power storage blocks. I've got five PTGs. I got an ore extractor. Let's get rid of that. And let's find... There we go. Storage hoppers. Is that everything we're going to need? Maybe. Let's, uh, let's get a few more conveyors. Crafting. So let's do a bunch, and uh, let's empty the empty the buckets over here. Make sure we get everything out of there, and then we'll head over and set this up over there. We haven't. Uh, you're not done with that, right? Yeah, no, you got a good way to go on it. I did upgrade the batteries on there, so it did get you know started out with a little more charge than it had before. So we'll go see our friend over here. We will need to find some convenient coal, and I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure there is plenty, and uh, we're just going to set this up. Now, this is probably not the optimal location. It's certainly not the optimal power situation for it, but um, I think we can can at least get it going and get a little bit of this stuff stored up. Uh, you go away. And all these plants and stuff too. We gotta eventually figure out what uh, what to do with these things. So let's see. We're gonna put the guy here. You're looking okay. So this guy softens them up, like, and then this guy kind of uh, let's move him over just a little bit. Actually, you take a lot of power. So let's give you a power storage block, and let's put maybe that. And then we'll do the liquefier there. Well, that's going to actually turn the blocks into liquid. And then I believe that you're going to want a hopper, I believe. I could be wrong about these things here. No, I think the... Wait, hang on. You're scanning for a bladed resin. Yeah. So this is going to be the thing that gathers this stuff, I think. And then you're going to be... Okay, it doesn't say looking in attached hopper for liquefied resin, total of one items needed. So that's remove only, uh, or add only. So we're going to want to do a conveyor. And uh, where will I put it? Here, maybe. 
So we're going to want a conveyor, and I think we can just bring this back here. We actually could put this back at the base, and it's probably a good idea. And you want power as well, of course. So let's throw another power storage block there, and um, PTG, PTG? I don't know if that's a good thing to do. I guess we could share this energy by doing that a little bit. Yeah, what the heck, just spam these things. That'll do it. And then we'll bring coal up into these guys. So let's find some coal. I uh, probably want to ping no nowhere. Oh, well there's a lot of copper. Looks like there's some coal right over here. Yeah, there's plenty of coal around, that's for sure. Ain't nothing but. Alright, here we go. Perfect. So, let's throw down the ore extractor. Mm, put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Give you a little bit of energy. And these things don't require all that much coal. So... All right, we'll do one of those there. Get out of my way. And we want it to go right about there, but point it up like that. Good enough, I think so. Yep. And you come over that way, looks right to me. And then let's see, I guess I can just do that and that. Right? And we can give this guy a boost. Now we should start using uh, enhanced coal soon. Enriched coal. But uh, I haven't gotten around to that. So this is going to take a bunch of power. And in fact I can help it out a little bit. Looks like we're done with metal alloys over there. These things take a massive amount of power so this is just a drop in the bucket. Uh, these should be remove only. Let's just make sure nothing gets added to them. And then let's have a look. Yeah, so our laser is softening up our boy there. And now that is... Is this a new block? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. I'm not sure I'm actually getting these before it grabs them from me. There. Okay. Finally got it. Alright, so now if we look in uh, in here, we've got some unknown material, and then where are, you don't have an output, do you? Yeah, you don't have an output, and you're actually looking in a hopper, looking for a hopper. Alright, let's try to refine, refine this a little bit. I forgot that thing's going to want a hopper, so we need to put a hopper... Could we, could we just put this here? You need 10 items, power is low of course. You need 10 of those and we don't have 10, right? Let's just see, how many did we get? We didn't get any when we picked it up. Okay, so it's gonna be waiting for 10. I'm not sure if it'll get it from there. I don't want the report right now. And we'll make that add only. Now I'm not, I'm not sure this is going to work. I probably should do it a different way. You know what? Actually, here we've got the, we've got the resources for it. So let's make this remove only. This is a big mess, but that's okay. Now these things may not even have the range. I don't know. Are you able to find? Scan size 7. Oh, it looks like it's doing it underground. Okay, that's cool. Well, I wanted to wait for this, but that's okay. It's going to take forever, so we'll just let it go. We'll let it do its thing. I just wanted to kind of set it up. Once we get that, we'll be able to do the research to do some bigger and better storage, which will come before too terribly long. Let's go back and get that research. And another bug battle is happening, of course. I put some hoppers out here on um, 
on vacuum mode. You can see stuff is kind of getting absorbed in there. Um, I think the pristine stuff will stick around. I think the broken stuff will die, and that's okay with me. I don't care for now. Let's put some coal in there. I'm sure that's getting low. Well, maybe we're getting low elsewhere. Let's just go make sure nothing runs out of coal. Yeah, that was getting pretty low, and that is too. Okay, looks like we've got to make a rundown for Tier 2 resources at some point soon, but not right now. Alright, we will collect our research, and then let's go look at the, uh, at the thingy over here. So we've got bladed resin, liquefied resin, and we should have some recipes. What do we got? Matter mover. Here's the gold foil crafter. Let's take that. Titanium housing crafter, hardened block assembler, alloy block assembler, precision alloy machine block assembler, suit headlight mark one, build gun v2, upgraded crystal scanner, sure, I haven't played with that. Okay, a steel alloy smelter, an advanced machine block assembler, a steel cutter head, this will let us get better than 10% efficiency. Let's go ahead and take all these cutter heads. We'll be able to mine crystal with that. I still haven't gotten any of these auto assembler thingies. We'll get the manufacturing plant. Teleporters might be fun. Definitely the sorters I want to play with, but not right now. And is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, cool. Now, let's try to build some of this junk. Can we get the headlight? We need low-grade steel and titanium housing. Okay, I figured as much. Here we need a secondary upgrade module and a titanium housing. Upgraded crystal scanner, titanium housing gold foiled secondary upgrade module, okay. Makes sense to me, so let's take a look at getting some of those things. A gold foil housing crafter, lightweight machine housing and a primary Crafting. upgrade module. A titanium housing crafter, we need gold foil for that, okay. Well, let's see how we make gold foil. Alright, so we got our gold foil crafter right here. Let me just uh, rearrange my hotbar a little bit. Get this stuff near the front. Alright, let's try putting you down. We'll put it over here for now because I don't know what we're going to need. In fact, we might need, we might need power. Do we need power? Doesn't look like it needs power. I bet it needs plates though, so let's throw down hoppers for him. You're gonna be add only, you're gonna be remove only. And what are you looking for? You're looking for gold wire, okay. Uh, let's see, I think that even though that's remove only, I think that the wire will put it directly in. I've been playing around with these things, it's not entirely clear to me always awesome. how they work, but. I think I tried this and it was okay. So you want gold wire. Let's see if this will work. Dude, you're in my grill with that. Uh, let's just put in, let's just put in one. And see what happens. Okay, the gold wire does go in. And you found, okay, can you stop telling me about the life forms? Okay, you want five? Fine, you know what, just make a whole batch of gold wire. That'll be all right. And then, let's see, get this stuff off my hot bar. All right. So as soon as we get some gold foil, we can uh, we can make that next step there. Oh my goodness, um, this has been uh, this has been a harrowing experience for sure. Uh, the bugs are coming constantly. The big bad guy is like in view over there. I feel like he's creeping on me, but he's, he's probably not. He's probably not getting any closer. So we do have the ability to make, excuse me, an ore smelter. We need gold foil, titanium housing, secondary upgrade module. What does this need? Okay, so secondary upgrade modules. Those are no doubt going to need power. We have some gold foil, we do. That's cool. Okay. Now, titanium housing crafter. We need eight gold foil. Holy moly, okay. Well, I can see right now we're going to need a whole bunch more of these um, lightweight machine housing. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and 
throw in some more of those. And in fact, we can help it along because I've been making tin plate. So we can throw some tin plate in there. And uh, ideally, we want to get this stuff pulling from a big storage over there so that it's getting crafted automatically and we always have some of it sitting around. All right, how much do we have now? We've got five. Okay, it's going to be a little bit then, I guess. <laughs> fun, fun. I don't have to go down and get lithium now, so um, the trip down to get copper, or uh, sorry, gold and whatnot is, uh, is a lengthy one, so I think we won't do it for right now. Although, this is taking a little while, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what, let's see what research is available while we're waiting on that to go. Advanced power grid probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see what we get with that. Solar panels, uh, organic solar panels, so using bug parts, uh, some new laser energies, some really nice batteries. These power storage blocks are pretty nice. And then our jet turbines, uh, once we get to biomass, which is sort of the, I guess it's the beginning of the tier three ores, um, we can use, we can refine a fuel and make these turbines, which generate quite a bit of energy. What do we need to research this one? Didn't take me back to, why don't you show me what is needed for it? Let's look over here. We need 25 ultimate, 50 simplified, and 50 basic. Uh, do we have the ultimate? Okay, we've got the 25 ultimate. And, oh, okay, used quite a bit of that. But we can make some more simplified. So let's go ahead and start that. All right, and then let's make some simplified pods. Do I have any? No, okay. Well... We can give it a head start over here. How much do we need? How many simplifieds do we need? Just 10? Yeah. What the frack? Oh, goodness. Okay. Hello. Um, there's that guy. And he's going to... He's... Jeez. Okay, we killed him. Uh, thanks for the assist there, Spiderbot. Spiderbot's over there doing some damage. He's he's finally reappeared. But gosh, I've become uh, distracted from that. And we'll put in six of those. Six uh, stacks of ten of those. Uh, that was too many, but that's okay. That was double what I needed. Um... That guy scared me. I didn't realize we were that next level. Uh, here comes another one off in the distance. Yeah, so it's like the Macy's, uh, you know, Thanksgiving Day Parade over here. Uh, after a while, these guys just start piling up, and it gets a little nutty. All right, we've got our gold foil. <laughs> Let's move on with our process here. We need a titanium housing crafter. Crafting. Okay, titanium housing crafter, please tell me you don't need power. I don't think it will. Can it go... Okay, that is going to need, I guess, plates, so, oh, it does want power, okay. Could steal some power from there. Could steal some power from here. Yeah, let's just, let's just, uh, let's just cheat a little bit here, because I don't feel like, I don't feel like setting up the whole thing. All right, this is not the final location for, oh, goodness, uh, that's quite a pit there. I didn't really want to put that in the pit. I wanted to put it right here next to this battery. And then we'll throw a battery in here. And we'll throw this guy on top. Okay, so you've got your power now. Remove only. Yeah, the, the wasps and things aren't really getting to us anymore. But these guys certainly can. It looks like they do a fair bit of uh, damage. Hopefully Spiderbot can hold them off for just a little bit. Make that add only. And you're going to be looking for what? Plates, right? Titanium plates. So we need a... This is just... Uh, it, it's complete chaos. <laughs> Trying to get anything done around here. With all the fireworks going on. What are you going to do? 
the, the struggle is real. Okay, we need some titanium plates here. It looks to me like we're going to need just oodles of this gold white, gold foil and titanium stuff, so let's do that. And then what were we even making now? Uh, secondary upgrade module maker. Okay, so we need a titanium housing, so we're going to have to wait for six of those things. And then what do we need here? Okay, secondary upgrade modules, alloy block assemblers, needs all the same stuff. All right, these pipe extrusion plants are made for making missiles, so a little bit of bit of work will be required before we get around to missiles. But we're going to need missiles to take down the big guys, though. So. Okay, we got a titanium housing. That is good. Um, now, we were going to make a secondary upgrade module maker, and I know this takes power. How much power? I don't know. I wonder... Could you do double duty here. We're going to put this uh, we're going to put this poor PTG through through some work. Okay, so we'll do it that way. Throw you down on there. Now what are you looking for? You're looking for hoppers. You don't have any. Remove only. Add only. Now what are you looking for? You're looking for fortified PCBs. Alright. PCBs. Okay, let's get that going. Extrusion plant. Crafting. Crafting. Coiler plant. PCB assembly plant. We need copper coil, but I think there is some over here. Yep. Just in case. Crafting. Crafting. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and use that up. Because we will eventually want these. So, a coiler plant. A PCB assembly. Ow, Jesus Christ. Dude, who who did that? <laughs> was that the big guy or was that a little guy that got mad and shot me? I, I can't tell. Normally, we don't get attacked. All right. Uh, a little, a little scare, a little scare. Okay, color plant and um, where is that extruder? There it is. Extruder here. And you there, and what kind of things are you looking for? You're looking for fortified. So that is nickel. Okay. Yay. Uh, let's see. We're going to throw some more titanium in here. Some more gold in there. And grab this up. So that's going to take a little bit of time to make that. And you probably don't have nearly enough power, right? You desire 150 PPS. So if these things don't get enough power, they'll just uh, they'll just do what they're doing more slowly. So they do work, just not very efficiently, which is okay. I mean, for now, right? We're just testing it out, and we're also getting our upgraded tools, which is going to be super helpful. Okay, got a little stuck there for some reason. I think this thing's having trouble processing all the attackage that's going on. So I'm gonna have to farm up a lot of resources. Hopefully, though, we can. Uh, can we make these conveyor tubes yet? I don't recall whether we could or not. Conveyor tubes. Uh, transport pipes. Yeah. Hardened machine blocks. Crystal clocks. So we got to get crystal uh, mining going, and these hardened machine blocks, which are we can't build them in our inventory, so I don't even know what goes into them. It's here. That's just a hardened block. But is it a hardened block? Use a mixture of nickel and titanium to create essential alloy blocks. I don't know, because I thought this said hardened machine block. I don't know if it's a hardened block or a hardened machine block. Let's look at the picture there, and then look over here. Ah, uh, it's hard to tell. Oh, no, hardened machine block. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's in them, so we'll have to, we'll have to figure that out later after we get some of those basic machines together. And we do have some secondary upgrade modules. Hallelujah. Let's see. Can we build now our build gun? What, how many of these things did we need for it? 
Oh boy, we need 48 titanium housings. Okay, that is a significant amount of titanium involved in that process. So we're not going to be getting that right away. Uh, all of this building is apparently going to take a little bit of time and not going to be able to do it just yet. Uh, let's see what we can make though. Can we make one of these ore smelters? We need another secondary upgrade module to do an ore smelter. Okay. So we can do force induction, however. And um, let's go ahead and make these. So let's start with four. Crafting, 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 crafting. Crafting, 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 crafting. All right. So we got four of those. And I've already built one of them, by the way, that's working over here on that. So we've got that, and we should have enough for an ore smelter. Yeah? Uh, not a basic, thank you. I will take Crafting. one of those. Awesome. So we got one out of four, and eventually many more, but for now, four. We will have to... I'm just going to put, put that there. We will have to rearrange the way this works, though, because we're going to... Oh, no, we won't, actually. No, we won't. Which thing would we like smelted the most... Uh, of I think 10 actually I think we're gonna want 10 this should be this first one here yeah so let's pull this up I won't have to reorganize this oh and I can't <laughs> I can't pick it up because I don't have the new build gun oh boy that was uh, that was brilliant all right we will need three more of these I got one all right let's put some more nickel in here <laughs> oh, that was bright. Oh, well, what you gotta do? I don't know why I put that down. I thought we'd just look at it or something. What a dope. All right. Uh, gotta get Spiderbot fixed here. He uh, he can't handle the one thick things. I'm not sure what the best way to do that is. I think maybe... It, I, he seems to be all right if it's got, like, a little bit of, of a bottom on it. So for right now, he's sort of waiting in the shallow pool. This is actually only one thick, so he's doing alright with that, but he's not handling the dual layer terrain. We'll have to figure him out. I'll work on that a little bit more. You can probably see... Uh, oh yeah, so that over there is uh, soft resin. There's another patch of it over there. They're trying to close in with their little bug bomb guys. Dropping that stuff off. And... Um, slime party and uh yeah so i don't know how much closer they're going to get with them but um but if they get too close well i'll put some extended turrets out here to try to shoot them down before they drop their payload they look like a big uh glowy bug thing and they come over here and they just explode and drop this stuff off i did use some of that for research though if you get too close to it a big worm will spawn out of it and will kill you and I think it just straight up will kill you. I don't think there's any way to avoid being killed by it. It is, uh, it is fairly powerful. How are we doing here? This thing's, yeah, low power. Yeah, okay. We definitely need some better power generation going on here. I don't think I have enough, right? I don't have my... No, I need one more. Come on, give me one more. It's going to take a while. Can I give it some power? Uh, not like that. If I click here, let's give it some power. Try to get it to hurry up. There we go. Okay, we got it. Alright, just need a little power boost, so how about another regular old ore smelter? Crafting. There we go. Alright, I'll try not to put this one down like a fool. Alrighty, we'll throw it in there. We'll throw that on there. It's going to take a while to heat up, probably. Let's give it some power. And that's going to be a lot more efficient. These things take four ore to make one bar, and this only takes two, and it's going to do it pretty fast. Faster than we're getting them, in fact, I think, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll have to work on mining speed as well. And then as soon as we have a million of all the things, we can uh, we can build the upgraded build gun and stuff like that. So I'll probably start doing that. I'll probably start trying to build a bunch of these machines just to get them set up so that they're available when we want them. And uh, and then we'll we'll start thinking of how 
how to put them down in a way that makes some kind of sense. And that one will be getting stuff. Hold on, let's do lightweight machine housing. Is that you? Yeah, that's you. So we're gonna keep making all of those things. Uh, Spiderbot, you are, his power, 138,000, but he's not bothering to get recharged over here. So I don't know why, why not? Maybe he only comes back like when he gets really low or something. And he's not always around, but when he is, he does a fairly good job. He doesn't even have that upgraded weapon yet. I forget now, what do we need to do to upgrade that weapon? The cannon. Oh, we need plastic, right. And uh, I think we can do all this other stuff, but the plastic, we're going to need to get down to biomass, which we can now do. Um, do we have time to do it? Yeah, you know, let's just head down. Gonna leave the attack going. There ain't nothing we can do. We just gotta, gotta live with that. It's just a, a constant thing now. I'm gonna be throwing, you know, it, we're throwing a lot of resources at it because power is a resource, right? We're burning coal. Not that big a deal, but we're burning coal to fight off these attacks. If we didn't, our CPH would be going down like every two minutes. So here's all the. Uh, Here's all the power transfer stuff, and uh, we've got lasers in here guarding these things. So they're doing a pretty good job, I guess. I should probably go check them. But they appear to be hitting the bugs. If you point at a turret, it'll tell you it's kill stats. So we continue going down. And like I said, I've got this going down all the way through the cold caverns and down almost to where the nickel is. I'm not sure we've actually gone down to where the nickel is together. This next level is gold and titanium, which I guess we can pick some up. Uh, unfortunately, you know, not getting not getting moved out right away, but at least it is staying powered. So if I just come down here and grab this stuff here, oh right, that is dead. Right as I put the uh, right as I put the power to it. Oh well, no big deal. Down here is, uh, down that way is nickel. And then here is, so we're at 380 whatever, 384 something, whatever, whatever that power of two is. And now we're down at 448. And down there is the, uh, are the toxic caves. Let's see, we can go in here. And I did not yet build a toxic uh, cave filter thingy. There's some more nickel down there. Nice. And I don't have a good way to get down here, so I'm gonna creep to the edge. There we go, it's not too bad. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna pop over here and take a look. So, this is a lot worse than I remembered it being. Before it was, if you're in the environment for a while, you start taking damage. But see, I'm taking damage right now, and it's going down like mad. And if I go any further, it is super bad. And also, I think it seems like I'm staying uh, poisoned for a little while. So, pretty bad stuff. But now we can build that toxic filter, and I'll get that built before too long. Oh, this is not really where I wanted to go, was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. I can't buy my way. Somewhere around here is our uh, is our way back. So I'll find it. I'll find it somewhere. There it is, right up there. I could not remember. Anyway, we'll get the toxic thing built. We'll go down. We'll look for some biomass, and uh, we will start doing some more stuff. Uh, mainly some more power. Those turbines are going to take our power to the next level, which will be pretty sweet. And I want to get some of that crystal mined up too. I really want to start using cutter heads because we are um, we are starting to, you know, get into big ore patches that I want to I want to have last a long time. So I want to increase the efficiency a little bit as we get into these million large ore patches so that they last a little longer. 
and um, and we'll go from there. All right, so everybody, thank you very much for joining me for Fortress Craft Evolve. I'm going to keep grinding. See you guys soon. Bye.